Health Break is brought to you by South Central Regional Medical Center in Laurel. A government study of nearly 10,000 adults showed that the more frequently people snore, gasp, or stop breathing for short periods of time while they sleep, the more likely they are to have symptoms of depression. Certified counselor at South Central Behavioral Health Clinic, Rhonda McNair explains. One of the main symptoms of depression is not getting enough sleep. So that's one of the questions that we do ask is how are you sleeping? Is it several hours of uninterrupted sleep or is it scattered sleep? Are you sleeping 15 minutes here and 15 minutes there? A lot of times that's one of the first things people will tell us when they come in is I just can't sleep and it's hard to know whether the depression came first or whether the lack of sleep came first because one may cause the other when we don't get enough sleep our bodies aren't rested so we don't feel like getting up and getting out and doing things if you don't feel like getting up and doing things we miss out on sunshine we miss out on going out with our friends and family. We miss out on social events because we just don't feel rested. So if we can get some help with the sleep, that leads to a better quality of life. Sleep apnea, for instance, is a common sleep disorder, which can be treated by the healthcare team at South Central Sleep Center. Patients who undergo treatment report that they feel much better and wake up rested. Being able to refer people to the other physicians, that is a big advantage here at South Central because we can treat the person holistically as a whole. It's real important to seek out professional help so that we can help you make the appropriate decisions that will help you with your overall mental health. For more information, call South Central Behavioral Health Clinic at 601-426-9614. Health Break was brought to you by South Central Regional Medical Center in Laurel.